Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. I reckon the final video. So, let's go, shall we? Let's hit up this teleportation device right in the middle <clears throat> and see if we can or can't confront our nemesis wherever he is hiding. Now, I can't remember which one of these we have to teleport through, but I'm sure through trial and error we'll make it. <clears throat> um, now we have Skyfang, which looks way out of place in this game. Definitely looks like a sword we should have found here somewhere. Look at Skyfang. Looks like this really cool kind of tech um, weapon. Almost like an electronic saber or something. Uh, strange that we don't get it here. We actually buy it from some random merchant. Talk about a hidden weapon as well, because obviously there's no way to know that after you've completed all these things, that a random merchant somewhere is going to have the best weapon in the game. Anyway, so we've already been down this one, haven't we? Or have we? Wait a minute. We've already... We somehow come full circle. Um, right. So there's one chest. Now, where exactly are we going? This door? Right, so we're going through there. That takes us here. Now, I'm guessing we're going to take the next teleporter. Oh, hey. You are literally nothing compared to us, dude. Honestly, get out of here. I like the way these guys are normal enemies now, when that was actually the first boss that we ever came across. Which is kind of cool. Right, so I think we need to go here. And that takes us over this side. Correct. Um, so this, yeah, this should be the final chest in the game. You received the Moonberry. Excellent. Um, now, I don't know. Yeah, the wanted list is all filled out here. Sadly, there's no other way of finding out. Rumor has it that Vase defeated him on the new content Solstice, but it is yet to be confirmed. Perhaps now nobody will ever know the true identity now that he has gone for good. Oh, I very much doubt he's gone for good. Okay, so that's all of the treasure chests. Let's keep going around these portals. Not a huge fan of teleporters, but wait, where does this go? Ooh. Wait a minute. Haven't we... We already been here? Yeah, we've already been here. Wait a minute. Where do I get... I'm confused. <laughs> I'm really confused. So... Through here, perhaps? I'm guessing, yeah, we're just going around in circles here. Yeah, we're going around in circles. I think we need to go through that, back through that silver path, don't we? God damn it. I need to turn the fan back on because it's, oh, it's sweltering. Um, okay. 
So let's start this crazy madhouse again. And that takes us back. Correct. Correct. And then we're going to jump... Uh, jump back in here. Like so. And then I guess we're going to go up that silver highway? Question mark? Um... Right, yeah, I think we were actually going the right way. I think. That's annoying. That's very annoying. So, let's go back into this one. And through here. I guess we've already been up a very familiar looking path before then. Have we been here before? I mean, I guess we must have. Yeah, we must have. So, here we go. That's more like it. Up and at them. And this, I have reliably been informed, is the final save anchor of the game. So let's do it. Let's go find this troublesome pest. Sitting there in a puddle of his own tears, crying for his loved one. Pathetic. There's Zelios. Well, we made it. Ramirez. Why? Why did you do it? Oh, because we didn't want you to destroy the world, maybe? Why did you kill him? Why did you kill him? Because he was a naughty man. Ramirez, it's okay. It's over now. Come with us. Yes. If he worships strength, then he should worship us. Lord Gaussian was the only man fit to rule this pathetic world. He was the only man capable of saving these fools from their wretched existence. And you... You murdered him! Come at me, fool! You shall pay! No, not just you! The world shall, the whole world shall pay. The rains will wash away all of you. I swear it. It was, it was what Lord Gaussian would have wanted. You have sealed the fate of the world by killing the only man who could have saved it, and now you will die. Uh huh. Cool story, bro. If only you could hear how insane you sound. Well, here goes everything. I could kill you! Well, now's your chance. So let's hit him up with some of that. I guess we are going to use Delta Shield? Question mark. You know what? Let's get some regen going and some Justice Shield. Go with the old classics. They're classics for a reason, kids. How much damage? Oh my god, seriously? Oh dear. Well, that's going to be rendered ineffective. Ike is even injured. That was an amateur mistake of my, on my part. Um, 
uh, 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 um, <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. Incremus, I guess. Oh, we can't, can we? You know what? Just attack. Right, let's see how this goes. Yep, another cycle of this and he's dead. Oh, miss. Interesting. Destruction. Now let's see how powerful this is. Looks impressive. <laughs> it is not. It is not impressive at all. Pathetic. In fact, our regen will heal most of that. Well, time to say goodnight, worm. Uh, you know what? Just to embarrass him further, heal everything. Came out of that fight healthier than we went in. Okay. That should be him dead. Yep. Bow before true strength, worm. Wow, Vay's made it to 90. It's not a bad innings. You. How could you? Ramirez, stop, please. I don't want to fight you. It's too late, Fina. There's no going back. I will kill everyone and everything in this world. I will not be defeated. Ramirez, what, what are you doing? Have you forgotten Zelios' power does not stop with the moons? Zelios is almighty. Maybe we need to destroy Zelios. And only silver... Ah, Silver, I just can control it. To control Zelios, I shall forfeit my life. Ramirez, please don't. Ah, let him do it. The Ramirez you knew is already dead, Fina. Zelios, I sacrifice my life for you. Zelios, awaken. I command you. Oh dear. He's going into the thing? That's ominous. It's changing. Uh-oh. Ramirez, why did he... Because he's insane. Everybody, we have to retreat. If we stay here, we'll all be crushed. Yeah, back to the ship. It's like Akira all over again. Oh boy. Well, that looks evil. It's the Death Star. That's Zelios? How do you expect us to beat that? This thing? Zelios has not finished taking shape. Once it does, it will be invincible. How do you. But if we attack it whilst it's still forming. How do we know it's going to be invincible, guys? Just asking questions. I understand. This is our only chance. <laughs> Everyone, battle stations. 
We must defeat Zelios here and now. This is where we make our final stand. Textures are a bit weird on that. The two quadrants of it look really nice, high detailed, and the other few quadrants really don't. That's really bizarre. It's like the bottom portion of it. Now, Ramar... No, Zelios. Let's finish this. Okay. Let's close in on the enemy. Fly straight towards the target. Let's give it everything we have for now. See how much damage we can actually inflict on this thing. See how tough you really are. Pretty tough. As it would appear. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have swapped out the moon gun. That's okay. We should have plenty. Oh, we've been silenced. Well, that's not much of an issue. Alright, we are hitting it. We are hitting it. It's tickling us. That looked cool. Moon Ray. Now this is probably going to hurt. Ooh. Uh, actually not that bad. Not that bad at all. It looks like Zelios is slowing down. I think we're damaging it. Alright, now's our chance to attack. Open fire. Ooh. Let's attack from the front. Okay. Oh, we could only use the cannon once. That's unfortunate. Let's pop a complete kit. Alright, let's hit it. Give it everything we have. Right in the giant eye. Ooh. That definitely hurt it. Definitely need to do more damage than that, though. <clears throat> Come on. I guess all the rest of our shots are going to miss. Nope. That's good. Got to get a complete kit popping. Come on. Another, eh, another little bit of chip damage. I don't mind chipping away. Come on. Keep doing those laps. Nice. Almost half down. Now this is more of a final boss fight. Uh oh. This is... Oh! This is bad. That's rather ominous. Look, Vase, it's changing shape. Creatures of the Silver Civilization have no set shape and can morph at will, just like Cupel. Perhaps when they made Zelios, they gave it similar characteristics. Vase, what should we do? You're the captain here. Tell us what to do. Continue attacking. Don't stop firing. We must continue attacking. That's the stuff. Oh, I guess that was not the right choice. Right, let's go for the Moonstone Cannon. Moon... Oh, right, yeah. 
moon torpedo and I guess we'll pop another complete kit just to be sure crystal cannon keep hitting it that's it okay I'm glad that we um, put our new armor and whatnot in. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get these torpedoes up in the air. Come on. Ooh, ooh, that was a that was a naughty little snipe. Right, there's a complete kit popped. It looks like my cat wants to go out. Do you want to go out, bud? Ah, the cat has left the room. Yeah, this great moon ray, this really hurts. Luckily, we can tank the damage. We've got plenty of complete kits. Halfway down. Doing very little damage to us, nice. Okay, so we can hit it with our cannon, which is nice. Let's hit it with a moonstone. Hit it with a moon torpedo. We'll pop a complete kit. And then hit it with the Moonstone Cannon. Miss, that's fine. That's okay. Ooh, Judgment. What would be nice here is if the rest of the Armada was here. Ooh, dear. That's bad. Oof. Go on. 16,000 damage. Oof. That's okay, though. That's okay. We're hurting, but it's not bad. Typical. That was a sly little attack. But that's good. Powered back up. Come on, let's get that moon cannon ready. Judgment again. Wow, he can really stack the damage. Alright, let's just fast forward this. Because, man, these effects, they take a while. Right, hopefully this is going to punch a nice hole in him. Come on, break apart, you bastard. Good job, Vazilios guard is letting up. I think we found an opening. Hmm, just keep firing. Fire, keep firing. Let's do it. So, we're going to want to... I don't really want to guard, to be honest. We will go for a complete kit. We'll go for the Moonstone gun there. Crystal cannon. Oof. There, I guess the moon gun all the way through <sighs> tempted to buff but it's just it's gonna take a turn come on let's speed this up these ship battles just they're as we've said before they're just way too slow Is 
This is gonna hurt again. Yep, half health. We are chipping away at him though. Ooh, nice. Blasted off one of its pieces. Zelios claws, they're falling off. Just a little more, just a little bit more. We've almost got him. Right. Uh, close in. We'll finish this for good. Ready the Moonstone Cannon. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so we want to pop a complete kit. We want to buff Apo Wax. We want to hit him with the Moonstone Cannon. And hit him with that as well. Oof, that was a sly little chip on our back. Here we go. Here we go. There's the wax. Ooh, ooh, moon lament. This doesn't sound fun. How much? What are we talking? Oof, okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Right. Hit him with the Moonstone Gun. Moonstone cannon, fire. Peel away some more of those claws. Ooh, close. Nice. That was nice. Your spells really aren't doing too much to us, you know that. Oh, look at that. Oh, we polished them off with the cannons. I th think that was it, unless he's got a second form. Oh. That looks like it was it. Burn, you sack of shit. Everybody leveled. Captain Stripe. Nice. Oof. Literally just powers down. Literally becomes dust. Zelios, it, it's... Yeah, it's finally over. Or is it? What the? The hell? What is this, Resident Evil? It's not over yet. Now you shall feel the wrath of Zelios. You shall suffer for all eternity. Zelios will feast on your souls. Die. Yeah, it goes a little bit Resident Evil here. Okay. You kind of put a nasty hole in my ship, dude. Not happy about that. Well. Let's do this thing. Let's give him some Pirate's Wrath. Let's go for some Delta Shield. Let's unleash a blessing, and you, just a shield. Let's go. So this is the final battle. See if we can't snub this little run out once and for all. Ooh, okay, that actually does a good amount of damage. 
drill nos. That's not gonna hurt us. You fool! You fool! Right, let's hit you up some more Pirate's Wrath. Let's go for some more Delta Shield. Um, I guess... Glyph of Might on Vase. Just a shield. Silver Nightmare, this could be bad. Whoa! Uh oh. What? Oh, that makes her attack us. Okay. That definitely could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. So he can control us like puppets on a string. That would be very bad if he used the wrong move. Yeah, would have liked that glimpse of might a little bit earlier. But hey, better late than never, I guess. Ika, please try not to kill us this time. If you can. Glyph of Might. Uh, I don't know, actually. So, Glyph of Speed. This should be the last cycle. I had no idea you'd be able to get so overpowered in this game. That should be him dead. Yeah, 9999 damage. That was easy. <laughs> so yeah, that actually was easy, Vase. I agree. No, this can't be happening. Literally, like, merged with the machine. Ooh. Thought he was going to become a statue. Ah, some fuel for our engines. It's finally over. Fina. Ramirez lived in the skies and died in the skies. We sailors, when one of us dies, it's customary to return the body to the sky. Would you mind if we did the same from Ramirez? No, please go ahead. Get that thing off my ship. Ramirez, may you rest in peace. Kind of way courteous, more courteous than he actually deserved. Imagine all the technology they could find buried away in there. Oh, or not? Sinking back from whence it came. And with that, I guess the skies of Arcadia have been saved. Saltis, it's gone. Goodbye, Ramirez. Yeah, he became an evil kind of douchebag. Big time. Well, what's next? <laughs> yeah, what's next? <laughs> We've already sailed around the world, and there's no use for the moon crystals anymore. What are you talking about? Since when did we... <laughs> since when did we need a reason to sail? We're still young. Who knows what kind of trouble we can still get into. Oh, don't give us hope for a sequel. So, Captain Vase, where do we go from here? Well. Uh, Vase, Ica, I have something to ask of you. 
I would be honoured if you'd let me continue to sail with you. Well, yeah. We wouldn't have it any other way. Of course you can sail with us. Thank you. It's not as if she's got anywhere else to go back to. Well, well. This is all so touching. Why don't you all come with us? That doesn't sound like such a bad idea, but I should probably return to my ship. My men must be going crazy without me. I'll return to the Claudia and continue my search for the good life. I've decided that I want to be a fisherman again. I want to live the rest of my life in peace, out of respect for Jack and for Raknam. Well, Enrique, how about you? I must return to Valua. Somebody needs to organize the survivors and start rebuilding. I understand. Good luck, everyone. Hey, what about us? Yeah, what about us? Aren't we your friends too? Why should they get all of the attention? Clara, please, we just saved the world together. Can't you just enjoy the moment? Son, I'd be honoured if you called me dad from now on. Hey, when can we get something to eat around here? Aye, the big guy has a point. I think this calls for a party. <laughs> I never thought I'd agree with Baltar. Everyone, back to Crescent Island for the biggest feast in history. Now that sounds like a plan. Well, I wonder what kind of party we're going to have. Hopefully it involves lots of loqua. Alcoholic loqua. And surely some bottles of mead wouldn't go amiss. Does make... I mean, I guess if they did a second game... I'm not really sure what would happen because the main evil empire of Valua has gone. They pretty much wrapped up um, Ramirez and Gaussian. So, I mean, admittedly, if we're never going to get another game, which seems likely, they did completely finish it. Unless there's something sly beyond the credits here. And of course, how could we forget? Looks like everywhere's prospering. Now that's some big fruit. Damn. Huh. Everyone's mixing. Which is a good thing. And for the first time in ever, there's actually some growth in Valua. Okay, Fina looks cool. She really looks apart the there. Wait, what's that? Where's the Delphinus? Did we really get shortchanged like that? Huh. <sighs> I can accept not getting a second game, but they really need to remake this. Like, really need to remake this game, damn it. So, Skies of Arcadia, wow. It's the first time I've played through it in, well, 20 odd years, actually. 
Dine has retired as captain of the Blue Rogues, but his old crew refuses to call him anything other than captain. Boltar. Although Vase has defeated him over and over, he has still not given up on his oath to someday defeat him. Get in line. Sentime. Sentime's three children all left home to fulfill their own destinies. He has since adopted four more children, so he's Barry Burton. Gordo. Gordo's Bistro has become world famous for its gourmet cuisine. Gordo has never fired a cannon since. Clara has set off once again in pursuit of the one she loves. Perhaps one day she will find true happiness. Daigo. Even though he's succeeded his father and become king of Yufatuma, he still travels the sky in search of adventure. Zhao and Mao. After Daigo became keen, Zhao and Mao were appointed admirals of the Yafatoman navy. Lawrence? He disappeared after the battle was over. It's rumoured that he has been seen in Valua and is looking for his next job. Don? Being chosen as the admiral for the new Esperanza navy, he established a safe route through the Dark Rift. Nice! Babham. Babham became the head of Valua's new shipbuilding facilities at Enrique's request. Babham has never been happier. Hans. He now works side by side with Babham in Valua. He would later establish scholarship for needy students. Belle. She returned to the Primrose, confident in the knowledge that cannonballs come out of cannons really fast. Ah, oh, she learned something. Kazim. Having fallen in love with sailing, and his men decided to become air pirates too. Uh, Tika Tika. He received a hero's welcome upon his return. He has since taken a beautiful wife and lives always a hunter. Domino. He travelled openly his own trade business, uh, but has failed since returning to treasure hunting. Oh, I can't. It's so fast. Osman, she opened a shop in the newly rebuilt Nasrad and has since regained all of her wealth. Kilfa, she has given up fortune telling in search of more exciting line of work. She grew tired of knowing everything. Well, okay, Ismiel, he travelled to Valua to help with the rebuilding. He insisted that they would never finish without his help. Uh, she is currently building a harbour on the expanding Crescent Isle where she has taken procurement of something. Polly, she has returned to Sailor's Island to run the tavern alongside her daughter Anne. Ula. She is currently living in Valua, supporting her beloved husband Hans, who she met during her travels. Yeah. Ryukan. He retired. Uh, he returned to his island to fire up his forge once more. His quest for the ultimate blade perhaps will never end. He decided to return to Valua, where he opened a pharmacy to provide medicines for all of the people of Valua. He returned home to Valua to help with the reconstruction. Later he would become first admiral of the new Armada. Robinson. He finally returned home for good. Now he has ten children with Polly and happy living with them. Jesus. Pau. Even after the battle was won, he never returned home to Pirate Island. Pau continues to sail at his master's side. Meridia, she began dancing in Nasra and soon became a international star. She spends her days doing something. Uh, Mogi, she's working hard to rebuild an entire nation with her husband Enrique. She has become known as the something. Pinta, Pinta continues his search for rare treasure from all over the world. He plans to someday visit the moons. Drachma, soon after the battle he died. Ah. A happy fisherman. Even now, the story of Drachma and Raknam something something. This just is silly how quickly this goes. Enrique. Enrique is building a new value and empire together with his wife. Gilda, sailing where his whims take him. He and the crew of the Claudia continue on their search for the good life. <sighs> a young... Uh, vase... Uh, a young boy had a dream, a young girl had a passion, a mysterious stranger had a mission, and the world will forever know their story. Kind of. Only if you play the game. Vase the Bounty King. Yeah, they definitely should have given you a little bit longer to read all that stuff. As long as there is a thirst to discover under the unknown, there will be new stories to tell and new adventures to be had. Don't blue ball us, game. 
it's literally been 22 years. Just saying. The end. Well, and that ends the Skies of Arcadia. Feels really good to finish it. And I think, apart from a few quirks, it does hold up reasonably well. I think the game needs some kind of journal or some kind of log to better keep everything all in one place. Would have been nice to always be able to check how many um, chests, for instance, that you got. It would have been nice if the game would tell you how many like moonfish are in each dungeon, that kind of thing. Quality of life things that would be nice to see in a remaster. But to be honest, like this game really does still hold up. I've played a lot of games where I've come back to them after so many years and I've been left disappointed and wishing that I'd never gone back through them. This was not one of those games. This game was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I enjoyed it start to finish. And I'd like to say thank you very much for Chris, um, the games librarian, for giving me all those tips and help throughout the adventure. Uh, definitely wouldn't have <coughs> made it through quite so easily without your, your input. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.